Yes, next month's champion is going to be Guardian, or James Hudson, or Vindicator, or Maple Leaf, or Maple Syrup Supreme. I don't know. We're going to discuss that and why he has all those names, except for Maple Syrup Supreme. That's, that's made up by me. But yes, we're going to figure out a bit of comic book history and abilities of this character and his tech suit. Guardian's comic book history breaks down to the following. His name is James Hudson and he worked for Amcan Oil Corporation and developed the Groundhog armor to help search for oil deposits underground. However, after hearing it was intended to be used as a weapon by Amcan Oil and specifically his boss, Jerome Jackson, he resigned. Secretly, he left with the suit's helmet making the suit unusable. A young secretary named Heather followed him, explaining that she agreed with his decisions and that they could seek help from the Canadian government. They admitted they both had developed a strong attraction to each other and soon married. So yes, it seemed that James knew what was about to happen when it came to... <laughs> to, to making... Oh, I won't be able to get through this, even putting a mild joke in. So yeah, James knew what the crack was and said to himself, right, okay, but we need to deal with this before this slips into the wrong hands. Kind of like the Iron Man suit, in fact, that obviously that was going to go to the government if you kind of follow a lot of the kind of the films of the MCU. But Iron Man suit, you can't have it, right? I'm going to take this. It's going to be used for nefarious means. I don't like that. Left, fell in love, as you do. And then it's the case like, well, what's next for him? So in order to avoid prosecution for his actions, James made arrangements with the Canadian Parliament. The Minister of Defence assigned James to head up the Ministry's research and development programme, known as Department H. We've heard of that from the first video today, and they're not very good. Using the suit, he formed a team of superheroes called Alpha Flight, and took the codename Weapon Alpha and later Vindicator, and later Guardian. Who the hell do you think you are? Canadian Prince or something? From now on, you shall be dubbed Maple Syrup Supreme. And that's a name that you'll be stuck with. So, <laughs> During his time with Department H, he's done a few things that have been very questionable, but obviously he's been acting on the part of the government. So he's not really been acting for himself. Basically, one of his first jobs was to capture his old friend Wolverine and bring him back to Department H. He was unsuccessful and accidentally wounded Moira McTaggart, or oh, some person you do not want to injure. After this incident, he took the name Vindicator to redeem himself. On a few other occasions, Hudson's Alpha Flight teams have opposed the X-Men. What's wrong with you? What, what, honestly, I, I, honestly, this character seems to be like, what you're doing? You're kind of like playing on behalf of the government and then it's like you do this you do that and then you go against the x-men no one goes up against the x-men unless you're like the brotherhood of mutants or something you idiot Hudson's story takes a little bit of a weird turn in the fact that his old nemesis jackson decides to head up an opposing team called omega flight and then there's this other thing where he deals with some kind of like box or box robot and in the whole kind of like scuffle overloads with the suit and stuff like that and uh, explodes but he's not dead as most things happen with the comic books and sometimes sometime later it was revealed that james was sucked through a spatial rift and james returned back as a cyborg members of the quirilin race had found him and mistakenly thought that the suit was part of his body thus they bonded him to it a while for a while making repairs healing his body they altered him thinking he would make a useful backup if Galactus arrived since they knew the World Devourer had been stopped by Earthlings in the past. I don't know how this story is getting any better for this character because he still becomes more of a stooge when it comes to, well, another race taking hold of him. My god, put some clothes on, man, will ya? Now the story continues on, even a case that the partner of James Hudson actually ends up putting on the suit and basically taking up the Vindicator mantle, and that's Heather. Which in some ways I would have been down to see this version actually be put in, but obviously we've got the Guardian version being put in, which again is kind of worth thinking that we've just had Red Guardian, now we've got Standard Guardian in. So, at least we've got loads of Guardians of the galaxy as well they're in there as well now as most things with most comic books gets a little kind of quirky and weird james hudson or guardian then decides to sacrifice himself as galactus do does something as he normally does 
And it just seems that he's then perished, but then is found alive and then returns back to Earth. And then he's like potentially a clone, but isn't. And there's just more stuff that just goes completely askew and weird with the story arc. As, as I said, with most, most comic books actually do that. And then they had a kid and then they died and then they came back alive. And then they found out that they couldn't get the custody for their child. And <laughs> this story is just so weird. The fact is... Let's have a look at the abilities, shall we? Okay, so here's the thing with the abilities. Here's the thing with Guardian's battle suit. This is the thing that's going to be the big power with this character. And whether or not this is the cyborg form, or whether or not this is just a god tier tech that Command might put in, here are the facts. So, supersonic flight, the ability to let gravity propel the suit westward at a high speed. The, vi the vi visual effect is confusable with te teleportation or cloaking. Ooh, well, that's weird in any case. Body armor, protective force field, which automatically triggers if the gravity ability is used. Flares, ultrasound, concussive, electromagnetic beams. So, would that be something that we've seen before? Possibly, like, um, I like Havoc ish, but also um, Quake, similar to that, possibly. Electromagnetism, magnetism, whatever it is. But dispersal beams, electrostatic charges, and other effects. So, kind of like a electro vibe to it, maybe kind of like uh, shock type stuff. Lift objects uh, via the graviton beam. That sounds pretty cool. Limited ability to generate and control plasma, often in the form of uh, fung or vortex. Well, again, it could like havoc vibes to this. Able to interface with computers and Hudson's mind is a computer like and can access or block neural frequencies. Maybe reverse or kind of like um, avoid or kind of um, what's the word? nullify inverted controls, possibly, maybe, don't know. Either way, I'm very excited for this character. Sasquatch looks cool, but I really would love to find out about the god tier tech that we're still being deprived of. Yeah, we've got Guillotine 2099. Yeah, there are other champions as well, but I would love to see a very kind of obscure character. And this one may be it. A character that's got something that may be cyborgish or maybe not. A particular suit which is going to allow the player to tap into some very, very funky abilities. But as well, like, what is going to be happening with this character and uh, how is it going to factor into certain things, certain interactions when it comes to Act 6 and maybe even more tougher content as well. Could this be another combo scaler? Could this be another Abyss Champion? And could Kabam, being a Canadian company, focus on this character as well as being the, uh, the strong... Maple Syrup Supreme. In any case, you can check out the Sasquatch video uploaded today over there and also some other content. Make sure to support the link here and also check out the other channel there, which I've got to post a new Marvel Realm video very, very soon. Hit like and all that stuff and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.